Well, good morning everyone. The topic of this video is the gastrointestinal tract, sometimes referred to as the digestive system and uh, used to be referred to as the alimentary canal. So all terms mean basically the same thing. So we're going to be looking at the gastrointestinal system. Now the first thing I want to start off with is by giving an overview of the, the function of the system. And we can summarize this in four simple points. Ingestion means to take food in. Digestion means to break it down into absorbable products. Absorption means the, tr the passage or the transport of the food from the gut into the blood or the lymphatic system. And the final fourth function of the gastrointestinal system is elimination, the disposal of the waste fecal products from the body. So functions of the gastrointestinal tract In basic terms, ingestion to take in, ingest simply means to eat, digestion to break the complex molecules down that we've eaten into simpler molecules that the body can absorb and utilize, absorption is the transport of food from the gut, from the gastrointestinal system, into one of the circulatory systems, either the blood circulatory system or the lymphatic circulatory system. And finally, elimination, removal of non-digestible waste products from the body. Ingestion, digestion, absorption, elimination. So let's just run through these on the notes. Ingestion, the taking in of food, eating. Now digestion <coughs> is the breaking down of complex molecules into simple molecules and this is in two parts. First part is mechanical digestion and the second part is chemical digestion. Now, these names are fairly self-explanatory. Mechanical digestion is the physical breaking down of food. So when you chew food, when you masticate food, you're breaking it up with your teeth, and that is physically breaking it down. In the stomach, there is muscular activity that churns the food up. Again, it's a physical process not involving chemical change of the food. It just breaks it down, gives it a larger surface area. So digestion is firstly mechanical. But in addition to that, digestion is also chemical. Chemical means that there is actually a change in the nature of the molecules of the food. It's broken down from food into simpler food products. There is a chemical change and we'll see how that is facilitated later on. So digestion in two parts, mechanical digestion and chemical digestion. Mechanical digestion increases surface area. Chemical digestion breaks up complex molecules into simpler molecules. So in ingestion, digestion, third function of the gastrointestinal tract Absorption. Absorption is passage of food from the gut to the blood or lymphatic systems. And once in the blood or lymphatic systems, the food is transported around the body to tissues which require it. And the fourth function, elimination. Products which are not absorbed remain in the bowel and these are expelled as faeces. Disposal of non-absorbed ingested material referred to as faeces. Now, as usual in anatomy, it's useful to be able to draw a diagram of what we are thinking about. So I'm going to attempt to draw a diagram stage by stage 
and you draw it with me. So the first thing we'll have is a mouth on top here and then there is an esophagus running down through the thorax. The trachea is uh, just in front <coughs> of the esophagus in fact. With its rings of cartilage. And then <coughs> at the end of this, uh, uh, the esophagus passes through the dome of muscle which divides the thoracic cavity from the abdominal cavity. You probably remember this is called the diaphragm. So it passes through the diaphragm. So the food has been transported from the mouth through the thoracic cavity into the abdominal cavity and once in the abdominal cavity, it enters the stomach. And the stomach has two curves, a greater curvature and a lesser curvature. This is the stomach. Now, from the stomach, the food enters the small intestine, and this is quite long, and it folds around in the abdominal cavity. The small intestine. So the stomach, then the small intestine. And then I'm going to change the colour of my pens now because we're going into a different structure. Just to make it clearer, we're now going into the large intestine. So the small intestine joins on to the large intestine. In fact, just about here is a structure you've probably heard of called the appendix. And the large bowel rises up again through the abdominal cavity, up to near the liver up here. This is the large bowel or the colon. And then it goes across the top of the abdominal cavity after a bend in it. There's another bend roughly where the spleen is and then it descends down the left hand side of the abdominal cavity, goes into the pelvis there's a slightly widened bit just before the end here 